So first of all, I have pronounced thousands of times, Lord is sweet of our Gurudev, Om Vishnu Pad, Sisimad Sri Bhaktivedant, Narayan Gosai Maharaj, Arupanuga Guru Parampara, all devotees, Hare Krishna, thank you for coming. So last night, we a little bit talked the appearance of the Srimad Bhagavatam. No. Sarva Vedanta Saram He Sri Bhagavatam Isiti Tad Rasamrita Triptasya Anatha Swadrati Kwachit. One, this Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran Sarva Vedanta Saram He. This is the essence of the Vedanta Sutra. One who tastes this Bhagavat Puran they lose taste in any other scripture. Because Adavante cha cha madhi cha hari sarvatra geti. In beginning, middle and end, this Mahapuran have nothing else except Krishna Seva. Nothing else. In fact, in the second verse of the Bhagavatam, Dharma prajita koitava trappadama niramatsadanam satam vedya vastavam atravasta sivadam tapatriyan mulanam. Vyasadeva said, who is banned, who will not hear this Bhagavatam? In other words, who will come to hear this Bhagavatam? Only those persons who have given up Koitav Dharma, cheating Dharma. What is cheating Dharma? Dharma, Art, Karma and Moksha. This four is called Koitav Dharma. Dharma means I do something and I go to Swarga, heaven. That means you're doing business with Krishna. Oh Krishna, I give you some Agabati. I give you some deep. But you give me Swarga. Arta. Jaya Jagadish Hari. Jaya Jagadish Shahari. Give me a house by the sea. Means I'm doing something for Krishna, but I want some Arta, some wealth. Come, oh Krishna, fulfill my desires. No? And lastly, moksha, liberation. Many people think liberation is the goal of, the, the goal of life. Hare Krishna. But what is mukti? Many people think mukti means brahmalin, to merge with Krishna, to merge with Ram. But problem is, this is impossible. Did Hanuman merge with Ram? No, Hanuman still exists. Did Sita merge with Ram? Did the gopis merge with Krishna? Did Madhya Soda merge with Krishna? No. Therefore we find Mukti, what is the real definition of Mukti? Vishnu Angri Labdi Iti Mukti. Attainment of the feet of Vishnu, service to the feet of Vishnu, this is real mukti, this is real liberation. Mukti hitvanyatam rupam swarupena vivyastati. When the soul, the jivatma, situated in his sarup as the sevak of Bhagawan, the servant of Bhagawan, this is the definition of liberation. Who is liberated? Hanuman is liberated. Who is liberated? Shiv, Brahma, Narad, Vyas. Valmiki. These are all the liberated souls. And their life and soul is service to Bhagawan. So if we want to hear this Bhagavatam, we have to give up other desires. No? Anya bilasata sunyam gyan karma dhyanavritam anukulena krishna nu silinam bhakti uttama. We should give up all other desires except the desire to satisfy Krishna, to please Krishna. Means whatever we do by body, mind, or words should be done for the benefit of Krishna. Anukulena Krishna Nushalana. We should think what Krishna wants, what is pleasing to Krishna. Onion and garlic is not pleasing to Krishna. So we cannot eat. No? What Krishna does not eat, how we can eat. No? Therefore, onion, I know here in here in Trinidad, they do Navaratri, Durga Puj. Nine days, everyone stops eating anan and garlic. 
Here they do also, right? I hope. <laughs> I hope they do, right, Radesh? Yes. Why? Even they believe, no, Durga, she never eat these things. By giving up these things, we become close. We get the mercy of Durga Devi. So why after? Why we go and eat afterwards? That will not be pleasing. Did we see any temple anywhere in the world? They never cook anything with onion and garlic and offer to Bhagawan because Bhagawan not take these things. These are rajasic. These are tamasic. Anyway, step by step. First step is the tongue. <laughs> no, one who controls the tongue controls everything. No. So all the senses, the tongue, the tongue is most difficult to control. No. Why? Tongue, Bhagawan gave 32 security guards, but still cannot control the tongue. He goes up, down, day and night, he's speaking rubbish, gossiping. 90% of our problem come from the tongue. Means foolish things we speak and foolish things we eat. Aha Sudha Sattva Sudha. No, Madhusudha Mahajavai says, you're eating as pure, then your thinking and all activities can be pure. Okay, so, why? Because we were talking about the appearance of Krishna. So first, Krishna appears on what platform? Krishna appeared first in the womb of the heart of Vasudev Maharaj. Why? Sudha Satpam Vasudev Sabditam. Vasudev means Sudha Sattva. No Sattva Gun, no Raja Gun, no Tamagun. Pure Visuddha Sattva, that is called Vasudev. So Krishna first appeared in the heart of Vasudev. You know? Vasudev not eat onion and garlic and chicken and beer and all these things. No, his heart is pure, therefore Krishna rests there. Tumara Vidaya Sada, Govinda Vishram, Govinda Kohena Mama Vaishnav Paran. Krishna rests only in the heart of the devotee, the Vaishnav. Why devotee have no other desire except to serve Krishna? So Krishna stays in the heart of the devotee very happily. So Krishna first appeared in the heart of Vasudev. Then Vasudev gave mantra to Devaki. So Krishna not appear in the womb of Devaki like in this world. Husband and wife meet and some baby comes. Krishna appeared by the devotion of Devaki and Vasudev, no other cause. So when Krishna appeared in the womb of Devaki, she became supremely effulgent, no? like a fire covered by a pot. No? Day by day she appeared more attractive, more beautiful, because the supreme all attractive was in her womb. So it said, that time all the, devaki, all the demigods, Brahma, Shiva, Narad, Indra, all big, big personalities, no? all came to pray to the womb of Devaki, that is called God of Stuti. Satyabratam, Satyaparam, Trisatyam, Satyam, Nihirsu, Nihitus, Chasatyam. They prayed, O Krishna, you are Satyabratam. What you say, that is truth. What Krishna speaks in the form of Bhagavad Gita, what Krishna speaks in the form of Bhagavatam or in the Vedas, that is true. We should not doubt. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave the example, cow dung. Stool, of, stool is impure, but cow dung we can use in puja. Why? Veda says. Bone is not pure, but the conch, durr, the conch shell is, that is bone, but we use in puja. So Veda states, these things we have to accept. So satyapratam, satyaparam, trisatyam, satyasani, nihitam, chasatyam. O oh Krishna, you are three and all you are true in all three phases of time, past, present, future. No? We are not. We are changing every minute, every day, every year. But Krishna's sroop never changed. Eternally sixteen years old. Krishna's eternal age, fifteen years, eight months, two weeks. No, we never see picture of old Krishna. White hair and stomach coming out and glasses, wheelchair. No. Many people say, I am incarnation. A few years ago there was one. 
What was his name, Radesh? Sai Baba? He claimed, I am incarnation of God, but we see in old age, he cannot walk, he's going for darshan and in the electric wheelchair. We never see Krishna in wheelchair. Lord Ram was in this world 16, more than, I think, 25,000 years. Ram was king in Ayodhya. But we never see old Ram, white-haired Ram, weak walking stick Ram. Always 15 years, 8 months, 2 weeks old. This is Bhagawan's eternal age. But because some devotees like the baby form of Krishna, <clears throat> Krishna Sarup manifest by Yoga Maya, the 16-year-old eternal youthful form of Krishna, appears as a baby. No? So this too much. Many people think, oh, Krishna born, Krishna became teenager, Krishna did many things. He is like me. No. Krishna Sarup never changed. He is in all three phases of time fixed. Unchangeable. Therefore, one name of Bhagavan, Adoxaj. Adoxaj means no transformation, no change. Okay, Janadan, don't sleep. <laughs> okay. So all demigods prayed in the womb. No. So much happy. Soon Bhagavan will remove the burden of this earth. So Krishna in the womb, he accepts the prayers. Comes to become full of anxiety. Comes anew, the eighth son of Devaki will be Vishnu. He will be the cause of my death. <clears throat> so Kamsa always meditating on Krishna even before he's born. No. It says, no. while eating, sleeping, walking, taking food, drinking, going to the bathroom, Chintaya Rishikesh Oyam. He always saw the form of Rishikesh, Lord Vishnu, before him, Vishuddhasana Chakra, Ajao Beta. So he always think of Krishna, but in fear. No? So they're just like the bride, young bride, how she decorate herself when she knows my husband is coming. So when Krishna appeared on the Astami 5,200 years ago, the earth planet fully beautified, decorate herself. All seasons, all trees, all trees produce all type of fruit, even out of season. Very cool and fragrant breeze was there. Thousands of bees, thousands of birds, cuckoo birds, all peacocks, cawing. All the sacrificial fires burned very steadily. All the sadhus felt so much happiness in their heart because Swagatam Krishna, Su Swagatam Krishna. Okay, no more. <laughs> The earth planet, sometimes this earth, also called the bride of Vishnu. No? So she fully welcomed, and Krishna appeared on the Astami, dark midnight. No? How he appeared? First he appeared as a four-handed Vishnu form. Why? Because Vishnu is the maintainer, and demigods had prayed to Bhagawan, you maintain this earth. So first Krishna appeared in the Vishnu Surup, 16 years old, full of so many ornaments in his hands. He have the weapons, Sudarshan Chak of the Kumud Club. In his other hands, two is for the demon, club and Sudarshan for the demon. And for the devotee, the conch and the lotus flower. Because Vishnu have two activities in this world. Padatanaya Sadvanam, Vinasaya Duskatam. Protect the sadhus and destroy the Asadu, destroy the Asura. So first he appeared in the Vishnu Surup. No? Then Devak, why? To remove the fear of Devaki and Basudev. No? Then Devaki and Basudev also, they know, they felt, yes, Bhagawan has come as our son. So they prayed. Because mother and father, oh Bhagawan comes when he finds out you are here. He will try and kill you, so please hide your form. So hearing the prayers of Devaki and Basudev, Krishna then took the form of baby Krishna. No? That time Basudev was in jail 
when he took baby Krishna in his lap, he looked at Krishna and said, My son, Krishna. When he chanted the name of Krishna with relationship, then immediately the chains on his ankles and legs opened. The guards fell asleep by Yogamaya. The doors of the prison opened. Vasudev put baby Krishna in a basket and took him to Gokul. <clears throat> Many people know this history. At first the, there was heavy storm, so Ananta Shesh covered baby Krishna so he would not get wet. And Vasudev was thinking, how will I cross the Yamuna? That time one yellow jackal crossed the river, so jackal's feet is only this, no, so short. So the jackal was Yogamaya, indicating, you cross here. So the Yamuna swelled up because Yamuna also won darshan of her Prabhu. So baby Krishna put his foot out and touched Yamuna. Then Yamuna became pacified and went down. Vasudev came to Gokul. That time Yasoda had also given birth to two children. Actually, Nanda Yasoda, the eternal mother and father of Krishna. But in old age, still, they had no son. It said, Nanda Baba was the, ya, the middle of five sons of Parjanya Maharaj. No? Nanda, Upananda, Sunanda, Subhananda, and Nanda, five brothers. Nanda Baba was the most intelligent, most qualified, but middle brother. Also, because he had no son, then do business for whom? No? Therefore, Nanda was detached from all material activities because no child. What, what, who, you work hard, who will you work hard for? No children. So, all Brijabhasis wanted Nanda as their king, but Nanda no interest because no child. So, all Brijabhasi praying to Bhagawan, Oh Bhagawan, please give Nanda a son. No? So, Nanda Baba, the eternal father of Krishna, so night time again and again he would dream of baby Krishna. No? And he would tell that dream to Mother Yasoda. Oh Yasoda, last night I had a dream. You gave birth to a supremely attractive, dark complexion baby. It seems as if Brahma, the creator, had taken all the sweetness of this world, churned this world, taken all the sweetness and made one baby form. So handsome, so charming. No? I dreamt again and again, you took him on your lap and you fed him, gave him your breast. So much milk came, he could not drink that milk would come out of his mouth and down upon his chest. Again and again, Nanda Baba would describe that dream to Madhya Soda. So Madhya Soda, she also always hearing about Krishna. No? So just like Krishna appeared in the heart of Devaki, of Vasudev, then came to the womb of Devaki by mantra. So Krishna first came in the mind of Nanda Baba and then came in the womb or heart of Yasoda by Harikatha, by hearing about Krishna. Sometimes people would ask Gurudev, Gurudev, how we can see Krishna? Guru Mahal said, first you see Krishna by hearing. Gurudev would often say, don't try to see Krishna by eyes. Try to see Krishna by ears. <laughs> we see Krishna by hearing Harikata from the pure devotee. There is no other way. So always keep in sadhusang. Always yat sanga labdam nejavaja babu vaibhavam mahu sam sprishyatam himanasam. By always hearing about Krishna in association of the devotees, then heart becomes purified. And in no time at all, Krishna makes his appearance there. So, again and again, Nanda would speak to Yasoda and Madhya Soda always listening. You know? Then Krishna appear also in her womb. So, so Yasoda would say to Baba, Oh, I always dream of this child. Actually, it said Nanda Yasoda would see Krishna even while awake. But Krishna not born yet because they have so much affection for him. That time Yasoda asked to her husband, how we can get such a child? Then Nanda Baba said, I heard in Ramayan, Dasarat Maharaj 
also had no son. But he did big, big putresti yagya, big, big fire sacrifice, big, big yagya. No? That was done by one sadhu. What, what was his name? Sringhirishi. Sringhirishi did a big, big yagya. Then Dasarat Maharaj got Ram as a child, as a son. So Yasoda said, but the child we want is millions of times even more than Ram. <laughs> so we cannot get such a child by ordinary yagya. What to do? Then Nanda Baba took permission of the Brahmanas. Brahmanas said, you should all do a kadasi. A kadasi fulfilled desire of everyone. A kadasi known as Madhav Titi, the day of Madhav. No? I know in Trinidad Hindus fasting on Thursday for Hanuman. <laughs> is that Friday for Brihaspati or something? But you ask them, what day is Bhagavan's day? Bhagavan's day is Ekadasi Titi. Eleven days after Punima, Ekadas, Das means ten, Ek means one, right? Ekadas means eleven. Eleven days after Punima, that is Ekadasi. Eleven days after, what you call, New Moon. What's New Moon? Amavasya. That day is Ekadasi. Twice a month, Ekadasi comes. So who want devotion to Bhagavan? They have to do vrat on the courtesy. It's not difficult. Falhar, fruits, potatoes, what else? Coconut, fruits and roots, anything, juice, milk, no problem. Water, but don't eat rice, don't eat grains. No rice, no chapati, right? No double roti, no, what do you call, dal puri, bust up shirt, no. Twice a month we give these things up. So Nanda Baba Yasoda began doing a courtesy. Old Bridge Basi also began doing a courtesy. May Bhagawan fulfill the desire of Nanda Yasoda to have a son. So actually, even before Krishna appeared in Gokul, everyone thinking of baby Krishna. <laughs> everyone thinking of him before he came. Like a bee attracted to the flower, Krishna attracted by devotion. No? Therefore, all began doing a courtesy and Yasoda also became pregnant. So as Basudev was carrying Krishna from Mathura to Brindavan, the Bhagavatam states that Yasoda also gave birth to two children. First came Krishna, which Krishna? Swayam Bhagavan, the original Krishna. Right? It said the original Krishna never leaves Brindavan. Brindavanam Padityaja Padamekam Nagachati. Krishna, he never takes one step foot, one step outside of Brindavan. No? So who was born in Mathura? That was Mathura Krishna. Mathuresh Krishna, Vasudev Nanda. Right? Four-handed Vishnu Surup. And who came from the womb of Yasoda? That was Swayam Bhagavan Yasoda Nanda Nanda Nanda, Brindavan Chandra. No? Many people know this thing, but you look in Bhagavatam, it is also there in a hidden form. Sukadev Goswami says, Avidesh Janardana. Janardana appeared first and then he's born. Why would Sukadev Goswami describe Krishna taking birth twice? Once in Mathura and once in Vrindavan. No. But Bhagavatam gives this in a hidden way. No. So therefore, we cannot just read and think we will understand everything. We have to hear from the devotees. We have to hear from the Vaishnavas. <clears throat> no? So, Yasoda gave birth to two children. One was Krishna. The other one was the girl child, Yogamaya. But Yasoda then slept. She could not understand. She had given birth to two children, a boy or a girl. She could not understand. So when Vasudev came, by the influence of Yogamaya, he could not see Krishna on the maternity bed. He only saw the girl child, Yogamaya. So Vasudev took his son, Vasudev Nandan, and he put down Vasudev Nandan merged with Yasoda Nandan, because Krishna is the source of all incarnation. Right? Krishna is the source of Vasudev Nandan, he is the source of Vishnu, he is the source of Ram. He is the source of all other 
incarnations. Ramadi Murti Su Kalaha Nihimenatistam Nana Avatara Makaro Bhuvanesu Kintu Kintu Swayam Samabhavat Paramam Bhumanyo Govindamari Purusham Tamaham Bajami I give pranam to the Adi Purush, the original personality, Shamsunda Govinda. Ram Adi Murtishu Kalaha Nimenatistam. Ram Adi, Ram and all other incarnations. They are parts or parts of a part of Swayam Bhagavan, Sri Krishna. Okay? If one tried to understand this, no? Many people think Krishna born in Mathura came later to Gokul, but that is not the real thing. Guru Maharaj would say, Vishnu appeared in Mathura, but Krishna was born in Gokul. So Vasudev could not know. He put down his son who merged with Yasoda's Krishna and he took the girl child. Actually, he not took the girl child because the spiritual form of Yogamaya never leaves Vrindavan also. No. So it said he took the Prakash. What is the Prakash of the spiritual form of Yogamaya? That is Mahamaya, Durga. No. So he took Durga, the girl child, back to Mathura. No. The girl child began to cry. Wah! Comes, heard the news. <laughs> So he so much he ran down without combing his hair or changing out of his pajamas. He ran down. And he saw, what is that? No boy child, girl child. Comes, laughed. Ha! Ah, I have been cheated by the devas. I have nothing to fear from a girl child. No. But next minute he became afraid. Better to be safe than sorry. So he took the girl child and went to kill her. But she flew out of his hands and took the form of Astabuj Durga, eight harm Durga. Durga kicked him in the head. <laughs> you fool, you cannot kill me. Your killer has taken birth somewhere else. And she disappeared. No? Why Kamps is not devotee, he cannot see the spiritual form of Maya. Therefore, what did he see, Janadan? The material form, Durga, Mahamaya. No? So your killer has taken birth. This is another proof in Bhagavatam. Your killer has taken birth somewhere else. No? If Krishna really was the son of Vasudev, then why Yogamaya said he took birth somewhere else? Because he born in Mathura. So your killer means the original took birth somewhere else. Where is that? Gokul. But Kams could not understand. So meanwhile, Yasoda, the baby, baby Krishna cried. Very sweet. What was the crying of that? That was Omka, Om, but baby Krishna, Om, <laughs> so sweet. That Omka, what is that Pranav? That is Krishna himself. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Pranav, Sarva Vedeshu. In all the Vedas, I am Pranav. Pranav means Omka, A, Iti Akshara, Krishna, Sarva Vaikunta Nayaka. A, U, Ma, Om. A means Krishna. A iti akshara Krishna sarva vaikunta nayaka. Krishna, A means Krishna, the lord of millions of vaikuntas. U means Radhika, the Ladini Shakti. And Ma means the Jivatma, us. Our relation with Radha Krishna, that is Omka. No? So Om and Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, no difference, no difference at all. Hare means Radhika, Hare Krishna. Oh Radhe, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, there is Radha Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari. Ram can mean many things, but because Lord Ram is never with Radharani. No, Lord Ram is with Sita. So Hari Ram, Hari Ram does not mean Lord Ram. It does not mean Balaram. Who is always with Radhika? That is Krishna. So Krishna also have name Radharaman, Raman Bihari, Ramanath. So Hari Ram means who always doing pastimes with Radhika. His name is Ram. So many people believe in Om, Om, Om. But not too many people believe in Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. 
Guru Maharaj give the example like paneer. You have paneer here in Trinidad, must. Paneer has taste, no doubt. But rasgulla have more taste. You have rasgulla here in Trinidad? Yes. Which is better? If someone give you paneer or rasgulla, which one you eat? Rasgulla. Paneer and rasgulla is the same thing. But rasgulla is paneer with some extra taste, some extra ras there. So Om and Hare Krishna is the same. There's no difference. But still, Hare Krishna has some more taste, some more juice there, some more nectar. Because in Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna's relationship with Radharani also there. No? So anyway, baby Krishna cried. Ah, so sweet. Like millions of cuckoos. Mother Soda woke up. When she saw baby Krishna, she became shocked. This child is my child, so handsome. At first, Madhya Soda did not believe this is her child. <laughs> so beautiful. Also, Krishna's fingers and toes, so soft, like sprouts on new tree, new sprouts, soft sprout. Baby Krishna has some mark of Srivats. Srivats means the mark of Lakshmi on his chest, one Sireka, one golden lion on the chest of Bhagwan, but Mother is sort of think this is some milk stain. So she lick her sari and again and again she tried to rub that off the chest of baby Krishna. Krishna has 18 marks on his hands and feet, but baby Krishna don't want his mother to see this. <laughs> Otherwise she'll put him in some al almari and forget about him. So Krishna to hide his Bhagwata, to hide his position as the Supreme Lord, Baby Krishna closed his fists and feet like that. Then Madhya sort Soda of picked up baby Krishna, but first baby. So other gopis came in and they teach Madhya sort Soda of how to hold the baby's neck. Because first baby, no? How to put the breast in the, in the, how to put the nipple in the mouth of baby Krishna. So all other gopis taught Madhya sort of how to hold the baby, how to feed him. And the funny thing is, all Brijabhasi think Krishna is my son also. No? We should not think Krishna only has one mother and father. Krishna has millions and billions of mothers, fathers, wives, friends, servants. Because he is Ananta, unlimited. No? Anyone who loves Krishna like mother and f they want Krishna as their son, Krishna can also make you feel Krishna is my son. So all Brijabhasi feel so happy. No? So, Sunanda, no, Nanda Baba, not present at the birth of baby Krishna. Hmm? These days, husband goes to the hospital and watches the birth, but this is considered very bad, no good fortune. So, Nanda Baba in the cow shed, no. Nanda Baba so much white in his hair, little old, no. Then, Sunanda, the wife of his elder brother, came. Then, Baba asking, What happened? What happened? Boy or girl? Then Sunanda Bua, she say, no boy, no girl, what happened? Nanda kia Nanda bio? Jai Kanayala. No boy, no girl, what is that? Ananda. <laughs> Only happiness, joy, bliss. But you have given birth to a son. When Nanda Baba here, I have son, he becomes so happy. Immediately he took off his jewelry, very expensive necklace and earrings, he immediately gave to. His, what's that, sister-in-law. Oh, you give me so much, but I can only give you some material things like jewels. Then Nanda Baba so happy. No? So he took bath, new cloth, new pagari, new belt. He looked before 60, but now he looked like 25. So much enthusiasm, so much bliss. And Nanda Baba giving so much charity. No? If you look in 10th Canto Bhagwat, 5th chapter, there it says, Nanda Stuatmaja. Nanda Baba give charity for his own son, not the son of Vasudev, <laughs> own son Atmaja. Therefore, before, give, before we give charity for the appearance of any child, that charity is given before the cutting of the umbilical cord. Therefore, Krishna really appeared just like ordinary child. No. Lord Ram, Lord, other incarnation always come four-handed. But Krishna come from the womb of Yasoda just like ordinary child. 
Lokavat tu lila koivadiya pariyojanam. This is so much like human like pastimes, so sweet. So Nanda give mountain of charity, mountain of sesame seed, mountain of gold, silver, pearls, jewels, diamonds. He throw everything. But no shortage because Lakshmi, Mahalakshmi, the servant of Krishna. So that house where Krishna appeared, is there any sh uh, shortage? No. So all Brijabhasi began to throw yogurt, paneer, milk, <laughs> dahi, so much ghee, turmeric. They're throwing because Nanda Baba have 900,000 cows. So mountain of cheese, yogurt, they're all Brijabhasi throwing on each other. All demigods come as birds to drink that Chanamrita. So big festival was there, that is Nandotsa, big, big festival of Nanda Baba. So much he given charity. No. no one can count because his heart can hold Krishna, his heart also like one ocean. <clears throat> so this festival went many, many days. So Kamsa, he heard, oh, Yoga Maya, Maha Maya has said, your killer has taken birth somewhere else. So not that way Kamsa could understand somewhere in this Mathura Mandal, Vishnu is there, my Krishna is there, my death. That time the first demon came. Her name was Putana. Put means son. Putana, no son. Put also means purity. No purity. <laughs> She was a Rakshashi, a very person. Actually, she said last life, she was the daughter of Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj, you know, he was one of the 12 Mahajans, the guru of the, he was like the king of the Asuras. But great devotee, great Bhakta. So, when Bhagawan came to cheat Bali Maharaj in the form of Bhaman Dev, he come in very small form, like dwarf, so sweet, so handsome. So he came to the assembly of Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj said, what do you want? <laughs> I just want three steps of land. No? Then Bali said, because you are small, your brain is also small. I can give you gold, I can give you land, I can give you diamonds, horses, cows, wife. Village, city, but you are just asking three steps of land. So I think your body is small, your intelligence is also small. Bhamandev said, no, no, I am happy with three steps of land. I don't need anything more. King, promise me you will give me three steps of land. So Bali Maharaj had a daughter. When she saw the sweetness of Bhagawan in small size, she said, I wish he was my son. <laughs> if he was my son, I could give my breast milk to him. She had feelings of mother. So when Bali Maharaj promised, I promise I will give you three steps, then Bhagawan became huge. With one step, he took to the top of the universe, to Brahmalok. With his second step, he took to the bottom of the universe. No. With two steps, he took the whole universe. Then he said, Bali, you are a cheetah. You promised me three steps. But with two steps, I have taken the entire world. You are a liar. You are a cheetah. So I will punish you. Anyway, so Bali was bound and pushed on the ground. Then his daughter was watching. Oh, this boy is so sweet, but such a rascal. No? So I will kill him. If he was my son, I would poison him. So you have to be a little careful what you want. If you want something, Bhagawan give you sometimes. No? So Bhagawan first desire, you will be my son, I will give my breasts in your mouth. And second desire, if you are my son, I would poison you. So Krishna said, okay, both things I will do. So that daughter of Bali Maharaj came again as the demon Putana. No? She said to Kams, don't worry Maharaj, I take care of everything. So she, what, she came searching all throughout Brajamando. Any baby born in the last 10 days. And she would kill them. 
So Sukadev Goswami described, Putana only killed the demon, the babies of the demons, not the babies of the Vrijabhasis. Yoga Maya protect. So Putana was searching everywhere through Gokul. Where are all the babies gone? That time, she heard, she saw thousands and thousands of Brajagopis going like a river towards Gokul. So beautifully decorated, flowers in their hair. Janadan, don't sleep. <laughs> all running there and all gopis talking about the beauty of baby Krishna. Oh, Saki, have you seen the sweetness of the son of Yasoda? I cannot describe how much happiness I feel when I see him. I feel he is like soul of my soul. So all gopis talking and put in a hearing. Oh, some very important baby is born in the house of Nanda Yasoda. So that must be the child who will be the cause of Kamsa's death. So Putina disguised herself like Brajagopi. I don't know how much Hindi you know, but in Hindi we say, Ati Bhakti Cho Lakshan. <laughs> Too much devotion, sign of a thief. No? So Putina fully decorate herself like a Brajagopi. Actually, Sukadev Goswami, five verses he talk about the beauty of Putina. Means so much she enchant everyone. Her waist very thin, her breast very large, her head fully back, her eyes like a lotus. So when she enter Gokul, she is so beautiful, everyone become astonished. Who is this woman? Gopis talking amongst themselves. She seems to be like Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, but she have no lotus in her hand. Who is she? Who is she? Because she was so beautiful, no one stopped her from entering. She immediately entered into the house of Nandiya Soda and went straight to the maternity room where baby Krishna was in one swing, like baby swing, crib we call. And Madhya Soda was pushing that crib, no? then baby sleeps a little bit. No? So when baby Krishna tries to sleep, Madhya Soda is singing many songs to him. So Putana came in, Chi Chi Chi, what are you doing? You're keeping this child in your crib. You should keep this child in your lap. You should keep this child in your heart. You don't know how to be the mother of Krishna, she spoke. So externally it seems so much she had love for Krishna. Even Madhya sort of think, oh, this woman's so beautiful. Maybe she is the mother of Krishna, she think. So Putana immediately took baby Krishna onto her lap Oh, you don't know how to take care of this child. I will show you. She began to put her breast in the mouth of baby Krishna. But on her breast, she had put very, very powerful poison. <coughs> this called Kalakut Bish. You know, when Devanasura churned the milk ocean, this poison that Shiva drank, same poison. You know, this poison make Roundup and all these other poisons look like orange juice. So powerful, so strong. So Putana, she put her breast covered with this poison in the mouth of baby Krishna. And no one stopped her. No? She come to kill Krishna. Actually, Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur said, when Krishna saw Putana coming first time, baby Krishna closed his eyes. Many reasons why. Krishna thought, oh, this is very bad. Now I'm going to kill a woman. This is not a good thing. So Krishna felt some shame and he closed his eyes. Also, if Krishna have his eyes open, then Putana would be too afraid to come near him. So acting like small baby, when baby's afraid, they close their eyes. Baby Krishna also closed his eyes to bring her near. But actually, Acharya say, baby Krishna was thinking, where do I send her? No? She come to me as mother, where I put her? In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Jaitata mam prapadyante tamstateva bhajaham yaham. Mama Vatma Nuvatma Namanusa Parta Sarvasa. O Arjuna, I promise to reciprocate with everyone according to their surrender. No? So Putana come to Krishna like a mother. So Krishna thinking, where to send her? What do I do with her? So she pushed her nipple in the mouth of baby Krishna, and baby Krishna began to suck, but no milk. Why? Putana has no son, only poison. So, like a normal child, you f no, <laughs> no, 
no milk, then baby become angry. So baby Krishna began pressing the breasts, no, like a pump, but no milk. And then Krishna catch ready, become angry. Then Krishna grabbed her breast and began to suck. So strong. Krishna sucked the poison. Krishna sucked all her bad mood. All her bad things he also sucked. And then he began to suck out her life. Then Putana feels so much pain. Oh child, leave me, leave me. She cried. And Putana has so much strength. More than 10,000 elephants. No, she's so strong. Even Kamsa could not defeat her. So he made her like sister, like a friend. So she tried to push baby Krishna off with all her strength. But she could not, because Krishna is a Shesha Vega, unlimited potency. So first she tried to push off baby Krishna, but she cannot. Then she thinks, who will save me? Who will save me? <laughs> Kamsa will save me, my brother. So she got up and began to run towards Mathura. So as she was running, she could not keep her fake form, her artificial form as a gopi. She took the form of her original form as a 12 mile high, which 12 miles high. As she was running, she wept, then Krishna became angry, sucked and took out her life. And Putana fell where? She crushed many, many trees, but not in Gokul. She, Kamsa had one famous, favorite mango garden. Putana fell there and destroyed everything. <laughs> so, Madhya Soda, when she saw Krishna has been taken by Putana, she became like unconscious. No? All gopis became like painting on a wall. Means form is there, but no life. No? So, old Brijabhasi took sticks and chased after Putana to kill her. No? But when they came there, they saw astonishing thing. Putana was dead and baby Krishna playing on the breast. It means Putana was 12 miles long. Imagine how high was her breast. No? So, actually it said, when baby is born, so many days, no one should touch the baby. Right? Mother and baby considered impure. I think for Brahman is like 30 days and Chatur is a little less. I don't know in Trinidad how you do. No. After the birth of a child, mother and child considered some days they should just be isolation, no? not mixing and running around too much. No? So all Brijabhasi feels sad. No? Oh, we've seen Krishna, but we cannot hold him. No? So Krishna fulfilled the desire of all Brijabhasi. One Brijabhasi climbed on the top of Putana's breast and took baby Krishna. Oh. Then they passed to the next Brijabhasi like a ladder. And all Brijabhasi get to hold baby Krishna. No? In this way Krishna fulfilled desires of everyone. Who is Putana? Putana represent false guru. No? If we want to come to Krishna, the first thing we have to do is hear about Krishna from the proper person. Many, many people, you hear their lecture, Oh, Krishna, he is imaginary. It's not, we don't surrender to Krishna, but behind Krishna is the Brahma Jyoti. Behind Krishna is Brahman. Behind Krishna is the impersonal. That is the real thing. Many people try to kill Krishna, to destroy Krishna. So as soon as Krishna appeared, the false gurus of this world, they tried to cover devotion to Krishna. Oh, I am the incarnation of Krishna, follow me. Oh, that the goal of devotion is to merge with Krishna. This is all false. If you merge with Krishna, how can you serve him? Finish, destroy it. Love means two. The jiva never merges with Bhagavan, never. The jiva is always the jiva. No, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, no. What is that one? Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. Savai Pumsam, no. What is that one? Krishna said, the jiva is my eternal part. No? Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. Savai Mamai Mamai Vamsa Jiva Loka Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. Krishna said the Jiva Jiva Bhut, this is Sanatana eternally, my separated part. No? Mamai Vamsa Angsa means part. The Jiva is eternally separate from Bhagavan. The Jiva never becomes Bhagavan. The Jiva never merges with Bhagavan. So people who teach us the goal is to merge with God. Or there is no God, 
Oh, everyone is the same. Shiva, Ganesh, Brahma, Chandra, Sai Baba, Durga, all is the same. These are all Putinas. They try to cover devotion, destroy devotion. No? So we should not be misled by the false gurus of this world. And there are hundreds and thousands. Therefore, a Vaishnav Guru Nashat. If one is not a Vaishnav, he has no right to become Guru. He has no right at all. A Vaishnav Guru Nashat. Vaishnav Chitipavanaha. But a Vaishnav born in any dynasty, any family can purify the entire world. So the first obstacle to devotion is the false teacher, the false Guru. And Putana is the false Guru. Outside, so sweet. Outside, like a mother. But inside, she hate Krishna. She want to destroy Krishna. So if we want success in spiritual life, first we have to go to the right teacher. No? Who is the right teacher? Not someone who fulfill all our material desires. Many people like that, no? They want a guru, yes, marry five times. No problem, very good. Just keep giving me donation. No? They don't want real guru. Real guru who removes our material desires. That's why Guru Dev would say, if you don't want to be purified by me, Guru Dev said, I am like fire. I have come to burn all of you. It means burn away all your bad things. Guru Maharaj said, if you don't want that, you stay very far away from me. No? So the problem is, we all want a Guru who fulfills our material desires. These are the false prophets, the false Gurus. No? But we should try to understand who is real Guru, who is our real well-wisher, who is no? Sakala Janma Mata Pitta Sabahai. Every life you get mother and father, but not every birth, not every life you get proper guidance from high class, pure Vaishnav Guru. And if you have pure Vaishnav Guru, but you do not take proper shiksha, proper guidance, you can never reach him. You cannot reach him, no, by your own strength. Anyway, try to understand what I'm saying, no? Pray to Krishna. Oh, Krishna, like you killed Putana, you also kill all these false gurus. You destroy that misunderstanding I have in my heart. No? then the path to Krishna can be opened clear like a highway so anyway afterwards Vidura met with Maitreya and he said no? Vidura, Maitreya too much astonished Aho, Aho means wow, amazing Aho Bakiyam she had no milk. No? If she had given one drop of milk to Krishna, then you could say, no, no, she had something. But no milk, only poison. A whole bakiyam stan a kalakut. A stan means breast. Kalakut, poison. She had no milk, only poison. But Krishna was so, she not even came as a, she came as a false mother to kill him. A sadvi, a sadvi means no nice desire, no mood of love for Krishna. She come to kill Krishna. But Krishna is so kind, so merciful. What did he do? Lebi datram gachatamana. He gave her a position like mother in Vaikuntha. Kova saranam dailambrajema. Who would serve anyone else except Krishna? <laughs> so kind, no? We are so foolish, no? We, no matter how much our wife kicks us and abuses us, no matter how much children steal our money and do everything, no matter how much our relatives speak badly and criticize us, and still we never give them up even for a second. No? People who cheat us day and night, we still never think of giving them up. No? But Krishna, no? why we do not serve Krishna? He's millions of so kind. No? The devotee give a small offering, Krishna thinks this is so much. Like banana, Vidurani giving what? Krishna banana peels. Krishna accepts. Just tulsi leaf. Krishna happy by tulsi leaf. Even just you have no patram pushpam tvarayam, a leaf, water, flower. No, we will hear later, no? Um, Sudama the vipra, Sudama the Brahman giving Krishna what? Some old rice. But Krishna too much eating, very happy. No. No matter how much, Krishna have no material body, so... He's not like someone in this world. Always give me more, give me more. In this world we give people so much, but they think it's not enough, right? <laughs> but Krishna, you give him a little bit, Krishna thinks this is too much the devotee gave me. 
So Kamva Saranam Dailambra Jema. Why we don't surrender and serve Krishna? Why we are serving someone else? No. So Krishna, so much kind. She came to kill him, but Krishna still give her liberation like and give her a position like a mother. No? So all these demons killed by Krishna, these all represent, represent some fault we have in our heart, some unwanted thing. And all of us, we have so many unwanted things. So by hearing about Krishna, <coughs> one by one, all these unwanted things will be taken out by the power of these topics. If one nicely hears about Krishna liberating Putana, he not become cheated in this world. Again, by any some false teacher, some false guru. No? So, anyway, Krishna began, Balaram appeared eight days before Krishna. So both brothers, one black, one white, doing so many childhood pastimes together. No? Sometimes baby Krishna would catch the tail of the cow, the cow would be afraid and run. And Krishna would be dragged through the cow dung and urine of the Goshala. When Krishna completely covered head to, do, head to tail in dirt, then Madhya Soda would become angry. Oh, this child is so dirty, who will love him? So she chastised, Oh, Krishna, you are like a pig. <laughs> the baby Krishna goes, Yes, mother, it's true. Last life I was pig, means Varahadev, bore incarnation. <laughs> but Madhya Soda laughed. She cannot understand anything. So one special thing about Vrindavan, no one believed Krishna is God. No one feel Krishna is God. They feel Mora Putra, Mora Saka, Mora Pran Pati, Jai Bhav Se Mora Kora Sudabhakti. Janardhan, everyone feels Krishna is my son, my beloved, my friend. No one believes Krishna is God. No? Like in Bhagavad Gita, no? When Krishna showed to Arjuna the Vishvarup, no, the Virad Rup, no, thousands of heads, thousands of arms, thousands of legs, no beginning, no middle, no end. When Arjuna saw that huge form of Krishna, Arjuna became full of fear. Oh, Krishna, please forgive me, oh Bhagawan. <laughs> Many times I joke with you. No, many times I disrespect you out of friendship. Please forgive my offense. And Arjuna with his hair standing on end and tears pouring from his eyes, he prayed to Krishna. Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhavam, Purusham, Sasvitam, Divyam, Adi, Deva, Majam, Vabhum. Oh Krishna, no? you are Parabrahma, Paradhamma, Pavitram, Paramam. You are the absolute Parabrahma. Paradhamma, you are the ultimate Shelter. Param Brahma, par Pavitram, Paramam Bhavam. You are the supreme pure. Param Bhavam, you are beyond everything. Purusham, Sasvitam, Divyam, you are divine beyond the material creation. You are unlimited. Ajam Vibhum, you have no birth. So Arjuna's friendly feelings for Krishna disappeared when he saw the Virad Rupa. In other simple language, when Arjuna understood Krishna was God, his friendship disappeared. And instead of feelings of friendship, came feelings of too much awe and reverence. Namo namaha, namo namaha. Aiswara sitala prem nahi moraprit. Where there's knowledge of Krishna's position as God, then natural love and affection disappear. But in Vrindavan, the loving affection for Krishna never disappeared. When Madhya Soda looked in the mouth of baby Krishna, what did she see? She saw the same thing that Arjuna saw at Kurukshetra, the unlimited form of Vishnu. But Madhya Soda not thought Krishna is God. What did she think? What did I see? Krishna is my son, how could he be God? What did I see? Oh, inside Krishna some ghost was there. The feeling Krishna is my son never disappeared. But Arjuna's affection disappeared. So this is the special thing about Brindavan. The special thing. Krishna lifted Govardhan. That time Govardhan, 22 miles long, 12 miles high, 8 miles thick. Govardhan, Giriraj. Giriraj means the king of mountains. That means like Mount Everest, more than Mount Everest, huge. 
And baby Krishna was seven years old. He picked it up on his, using the fingernail of his left pinky. Ding, very easy. When Madhya Soda saw Krishna lifting Govardhan, did she think Krishna is God? No. What did she think? My son. So she, oh Krishna, give me that mountain and go and eat your lunch. <laughs> because many days you are not eating. Stop being foolish. Give that mountain to me and go and take, go and take lunch properly. Madhya Soda thinking, if my son can lift Govardhan, I can also lift Govardhan. When the friends of Krishna saw Krishna lifting Govardhan, they not thought Krishna is God. What did they think? He's my friend. How Krishna could lift it without me? So they also took their sticks and went like that. Okay, Krishna, take rest. I've got it now. Madhu Mangal, Krishna's Brahmin friend. So fat, he's always eating too much. He's saying, Krishna not lifting Govardhan. What Krishna can do? No. My Gayatri Mantra, that's lifting Govardhan. So he chanted Gayatri Mantra to lift Govardhan. Means even Krishna's show, I am God, still they not believe. Their natural affection for Krishna like a, like a rock. No? If Krishna says, Madhya Soda says to Krishna, Krishna eat your spinach, <laughs> eat your karela. No, because mother knows if baby not eats spinach and karela and salad, he becomes sick. So Madhya Soda said, eat your spinach, eat your karela. Then baby Krishna said, no, I don't want to eat spinach. Then Madhya Soda become angry. Which spinach you want? That one or this one? Hmm? Which one? Which roti you want? That one or this one? <laughs> My roti also warm and very warm. You want to feel? So Krishna said that time, no, I'm Bhagavan. I don't have to listen. Then Madhya Soda become angry. She twist his ear. Hmm? So even Krishna show I am Bhagavan in Braj, they not disturb their natural affection for Krishna. That's why it said the love of the Brijabhasis is the topmost. Okay, the love of the Brijabhasis, that is the best type of devotion. No? So it said there are many, many incarnations of God. Radyo Bhagavan, Brajesh, Tanaya, Taddam, Brindavanam. Ramya Kvachit Upasana Brajabhuvi Bhargenaya Kalpitaha Srimad Bhagavatam Param Pramana Mamalam Premo Pumato Mahan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam Tatra Adarona Paraha There are many, many incarnations. Aradhyo Bhagavan. There are many, many incarnations of Bhagavan. But which is the best? Brajesh Atanaya. No? Krishna, who is the son of Nanda. He is the best. The topmost. Why? So much sweetness, like an ocean. Aradhyo Bhagavan Brajeshatanya. Where is the best place? Tadama Brindavanam. Which is the topmost place, Janadan? Before you fall asleep for the fifth time. Which is the best place, Janadan? Janadan thinking Trinidad is the best place. No. All scripture says Brindavan is the topmost place. No? Again, we're inviting all devotees. Everyone you please, once in your life, you come to Brindavan. No? Come to Brindavan means what? To go there with your new wife? And, no. This is not Brajabhas. Brajabhas means to be with the sadhus who have given up everything and know nothing else except devotion to Krishna. We go to the holy place, why? To associate with the perfected souls who live there. No? Not just to take bath or go to parikram or... No, no. no. One who goes to the holy place just to take bath, that... Bhagavatam, that person like Seva Gokara, that person like a donkey, that person like a cow. Who goes to the holy place not to meet the perfected sadhus who live there, that person like a donkey. <laughs> so we go to Brindavan, why are we going there? We are going there, why? To become purified of our material desires. We are going there to get love of Krishna. No? So, Brindavan is the topmost place. Aradhu Bhagavan, Krishna is the topmost incarnation. Vrindavan is the topmost place. There are many ways to love Krishna. Which is the best way? Ramya Kuchit, Brajabhavi, Bhargenaya, Kalpita. The love of the Brajagopis for Krishna. Especially Radharani, Lalita, Vishaka, Champaklata. Their love for Krishna is the topmost. <laughs> no. Especially of all the gopis, Radharani is the so much dear to Krishna. 
No. Ramya Kuchit, Brajabri Bergene Yaka. Shrimad, what is the proof? Shrimad Bhagavatam Pramanamam. The Shrimad Bhagavatam is the proof of all these statements. And what is our goal? Premato. Prem. Shrimad Bhagavatam Pramanamam Alam. Premato. Prema Bhakti. Pure Prema for Krishna. That is the goal. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam Tratradu Nanapara. This is the opinion of Lord Chaitanya himself. We do not accept any other opinion. So Krishna doing his so much wonderful, wonderful childhood lila. You know? This childhood lila is so astonishing. Ram lila, not so much astonishing. You know? Why Ram is Mahajara Purushottam? You know? Ram lila also like one ocean of nectar. But Ram have one limit. Because Mahajara Purushottam, no? Ram came to give the example of the perfect human. He is Bhagawan, but he showed, no? Perfect Ram, perfect husband, perfect brother, perfect son, perfect disciple, perfect friend, <laughs> everything perfect. So Ram Lila, this is so much important for us, we can understand how to behave in this world perfectly. Some platform for some proper behavior. But Ram Lila, Ram Lila have one limit. This is why? Because Krishna, he is Lila Purushottam. Krishna's Lila has no limit. Guru Maharaj give example. Can Lord Ram say to Hanuman, Hey Hanuman, come here, take lunch with me. <laughs> Can Hanuman and Ram eat off the same plate? No. Why Hanuman always? Prabhu, <laughs> Prabhu. Hanuman always dasiras. No? But Krishna's friends, they jump on Krishna. They, before Krishna eats, they take his food and eat it first. You know? They wrestle with Krishna. Guru Maharaj would say, Ram Chandraji, he have friends like Vivaswan, you know? like Sugriv. These are friends of Ram. You know? But they cannot wrestle with Ram. They cannot fight. They cannot abuse. Like sometimes friend in this world, they abuse each other. <laughs> But they cannot do like that to Ram. But Krishna's friends can do. No. So much they speak badly about Krishna, they wrestle with him, they steal his food. But Krishna never feel offense. Krishna never feel they are separate from me. Krishna never feel they are different from me. No. Sita, even we know her prem is so high. But what is the cause of her prem for Ram? The cause of Sita's love for Ram is her marriage to Ram. Without marriage to Ram, there can be no affection between Sita and Ram. No. But the gopis, their love for Krishna have no cause. They are not married to Krishna. Then why they serve him? Only because of prema, no other cause. A wife has to serve husband. Husband gives rotis, saris, children, house, many things husband gives to wife. So wife also have to serve husband because she thinks this is my dharma, that I have to do. But the gopis do not have to serve Krishna. They are not married to Krishna. Then why they serve him? Only one cause, love, prema. So if you look at Krishna Leela, you'll become so much astonished. Guru Maharaj said, can Ram lie? No, but Krishna can lie. <laughs> can Ram steal? Does Ram steal? No, but Krishna steals. No? So Krishna's Leela is so much wonderful. One time, baby Krishna eating dirt. Mother Yasoda saying, the friends went to Yasoda. Oh, Mother Kanaya is eating dirt. How much dirt is Krishna eating? Like this much, one drop. But friends telling Mother Yasoda, this much he ate, this much. Then Mother Yasoda came. Kanaya, Adandat mum? Kastam ridam Adandat mum? Oh, dirty boy, dirty soul, she says. Dirty soul, low class soul. <laughs> Can Kausalya speak like that to Ram? No. But Mother Soda will speak. Kastam ridam adantatmam. Oh, low class person. <laughs> Kastam ridam, are you eating dirt? Then Krishna eating dirt, 100%. But what did he say to Mother? I'm not eating dirt. So if you look at Krishna Lila so much, there's no limit. The only limit to Krishna Lila is prema. No? That's why Krishna Leela is so much difficult for us to understand as human beings. 
And our problem if we hear Krishna Lila, we think, oh, Krishna did, I can also do. Krishna had 16,100 wives, so what happened if I have three or four is no problem, right? No, problem is there, you are not Bhagawan, no? So to understand Krishna Lila is not easy thing, not easy, no? That's why it's given the 10th tenth, tenth Kanto Bhagavatam. First is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Who is Krishna? First understand who is Krishna. He is not some human being, he has no material body. He is the cause of all other, he is the unlimited cause of all causes. So his limit, his pastimes, his activities, so much astonishing. Therefore, Yad Brahma Sukhanarada Bhisma Mukya, Rala Chito Nasahasya Purusasya Tasya Sadhya Vasakara Churnama Nanta Shaktim Tam Radhika Chanarenu Anusramam. Therefore, the Radharani and the gopis also cannot be material. Otherwise, Brahma, Suk, Nada, they're all brahmacharis. But they always glorify, they always pray to attain the foot dust of Radharani. No? So Radharani is not some material thing. No, we should not think. Krishna is not material. And his Surup Shakti, Radhika, is not material. Their love, this is no material thing like Romeo and Juliet of this world. No? That is the goal of the liberated souls. No? So, anyway, we can hear Krishna's Leela beginning so much charming, so wonderful. No? Krishna began stealing butter. No other incarnation steals. <laughs> but Krishna's stealing so sweet. No? Choragra Ganyam Purusham Namami. One devotee said, I heard of thieves. No? But Krishna not just stealing butter, Krishna not just stealing cloth, Krishna stealing the mind of the devotee. The senses of the devotee, Krishna stealing the heart of the devotee. So Choragra Ganyam Purusham Namami. <coughs> so Krishna stealing activities, Krishna become more glorious, more famous. No? So Krishna stealing house to house with many friends like Balaram, Sridam, Madhumanga. So Madhya Soda hearing all this. No. And what she heard will a little bit speak tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll little speak Dambandan Lila, how Krishna was bound by Madhya Soda. And no one else could bind him. No? But he bound only by Yasoda, so how glorious is her love? Makan Lila, so wonderful. No? How Madhya Soda bound him? How Krishna delivered Yamala Arjun, the twin Arjun trees? What is Ras Lila? Who is doing Ras Lila? This also very Wonderful. Brikriditi Brajubadu be a cham chevishnu, Shranan Vatat, Anushunayata Tadvane Adva, Bhakti Param Bhagwati Patilukda Kama, Ridro, Gachanoti, Achidit Tadama, Dira. This rust, what is our enemy in this world? The enemy in this world is lust. No? Everyone burning in the fire of lust, like you put oil on a fire. No matter how much we get, we always want more and more. What is the medicine? What is the medicine for the disease of lust? That is hearing of Krishna's pastimes with the gopis. If one with steady intelligence hears these pastimes, he gives up lust. It means he understands man and woman in this world, this is a shadow. There is no real happiness in that. No? So by hearing Rasalila, one becomes attached to Krishna. 